Hello everybody, MK5 Mazir here, and today we are I'm going to be showing you how to destroy hard drives so they can no longer be read. Now, the reason you want to destroy a hard drive is you're replacing hard drives. This one has like banking information and all that other fun stuff on it. And you can't get that get away. Can't let that get away. So we're, so you need to uh, destroy the hard drive. So, let me open this up, and I'll explain the parts of the hard drive and what part of the hard drive you're going to need to destroy. Okay, now after a little bit of work, got the hard drive out. Now, I would read this for you, but since it was in DVR, I cannot read it because it's formatted in a way where nothing but that, that um, DVR processor... And the uh, computers back at whichever shop programmed this can read it. Now, next you're going to have to take off these black patches to get to the screws. And then unscrew it and take it off. So, uh, I'm going to get these patches off and I'll be right back. And there we go. So now you're going to want to unscrew all of these. Oh, crap. I found a problem here. That does not fit. I'll be right back. Okay, here okay, here we are. Now this is the part where the hard drive really becomes unusable because all of these screws, if I remember this correct, are at a certain torque. So opening the drive can damage it. So I'm going to just finish taking all of these out. Oh gosh. Hmm. This needs a little bit of prying around the edges. Just to make sure no dirt gets in there. It's probably under this this Western Digital sticker. Forgot about that. Here, let me do some investigating. I'll be right back. And right there it was, right under that sticker. And there we go, the hard drive. So now I'm powered this thing on, so you can see how it works. And from the looks of things, it has two platters. So let's power it up, and as it's running. I'll explain how they work. Okay, there we go. It's all hooked up. And now we're going to turn her on. And as she runs, I'm going to explain... I'm going to talk about some of the parts of the hard drive. She's not turning on. Okay, there we go. And now, right now, that thing should be spinning at... 100... No, no, 100. 10,000 RPM. And there's the read and write head reading it. What it's reading, I don't know. Probably some sort of startup sequence. Now, there's a lot of parts in here, but the only thing we're after is the disc, the read and write head, and the actuator arm. Once we destroy those, you really can't read the disc anymore. Not that you can read it now. Not that you can read this one now anyway. But on a normal hard drive, you'd be able to plug it up to another computer and you could read it. Now, you're probably wondering, MK, how does a metal disk store data? Well, the way hard drives store data is they store it magnetically. On each of these platters, and there's two of them in this one, there's a magnetic, um, I think it's a magnetic film on here. I could be wrong about that. And there are little, um, squares on there called sectors, and... Depending on which, which way they're magnetically charged, it can either equal a 1 or a 0. Because if you know about computer, they talk with 1s and zeros. Um, anyway, so yeah. Hard drive's running, reading right heads are reading it. Let's go out to the shop and uh, make them uh, make it unreadable. 
Let's go do it. And there's actually one more thing I want to do. Come on, start. There we go. And there we go. I basically destroyed it right there. <laughs> and now you can hear that uh, noise as the read and write heads slide across it. Oh, that's so, so satisfying. Oi. Psh, I messed that thing up. Okay, let's go out to the shop now and uh, fully destroy it. Okay, so now we're in the workshop. And this part, I'm pretty sure it's just steel. Oh, let me grab the magnet and check. Oh. Yep, and I was right. Just, just metal, so I'll throw that in the scrap pile. Now, as for this hard drive... I have to find something to undo those screws in the middle and get those platters to come off. Because if I can't get this to come off, we got a small problem. So, uh, let me see if I can get this to, uh, unscrew. So, there's what's inside the actuator arm. Got this copper coil that turns on and off to move this along. There's a magnet right under there, and then here's the other magnet, as you can tell. That's a pretty strong magnet, too. So you might want to keep those, just in case you ever need one. So, um... I'm going to see if I can dig any deeper. And here's the uh, logic board. I forgot to take this off earlier. But it's actually quite cool how this connects. Those contacts right there, and those contacts right there, hook up to the motor and the ports. Or, and the actuating arm, sorry. But that's just really cool. I'm still trying to get this thing off, but it's really being really stubborn. So I put the hard drive in the um, clamp, and uh, I figured the only way I'm going to get those screws out is by drilling, the, drilling them out. So I'm going to see if my drill's charged and uh, try to drill those screws out. Well, I have a problem. My drill's dead. So I'm going to take some of this stuff inside, and uh, I guess... After lunch, I'll drill those screws out. Okay. So after about 40 minutes of work, I finally get that retaining ring off and get to the platters. Now this one, I completely destroyed, as you can see, trying to get to the, trying to get to it, but... One side's still a perfect mirror, but, oh, hello. Hello, camera. Hello, me. <laughs> um, now let's completely delete it now. There we go. Goodbye. And this is aluminum, as I can tell, because it's not magnetic. And after all that, all the data's probably gone, but even if it's not... No chances to be taken in my workshop. Oh crap, the magnet. Completely unrecognizable. If you didn't know what it was, I doubt you'd know it was a um, hard drive plate. But there we go. Completely destroyed, totally unreadable. And now it goes in the aluminum bag. But we have one more bladder to attend to, attend to still, and uh, there's a plastic spacer between them. 
it's a oh crap I'm guessing this is aluminum too but I don't know right now I'm telling you how to recycle them yeah it's aluminum so okay now what should come out wait what oh we have a problem Houston one moment Okay, so here's the other plate. Again, hello, camera. But anyway, I... same procedure as last time. Take your magnet. Erasing data, erasing data, all data deleted. Or at least in theory, it's all deleted. And same as last time. I don't think you're going to be getting any data off of that anytime soon. And, uh, one more item for a scrap pile. Solid aluminum, except for that motor in the bottom. wonder if that still runs. Oh crap, I probably have to get that out of there if I want to recycle it. Ah, screw it. Okay. Okay, that, oh, what am I doing? Whoops. <laughs> anyway, thank you for Stop. watching. Don't go yet. I still got something to do. Now, we're going to look at the read, write head, the read and write heads of the hard drive under my microscope. Let's do it. Okay, and uh, here we go. And there's one of the read write heads. So, there's... Um, a couple of tiny wires there that go to the sensor um, slash some sort of electric electric magnet I'm thinking I can't think of what they're called um yeah I just can't think of their name right now and then we have what appears to be a needle on the end um that could be for reading it this can be for writing and that can be for reading or vice versa I'm not really sure. But, uh, well, I have the micro microscope pulled up. Let's take a look at the, uh, controller board for the hard drive. So there we have the motor contacts, if that will come into focus, which of course it won't. You son of gun. Ah, that's a little... Mm. That's a... There we go. So those are the uh, contacts for running the motor, and uh, those are contacts for the read and write heads. Now I'm not sure what's going on with this one. Looks a little burnt, and these look like they have numbers on them. I can't really tell. Now if we go down here to this end of the board, I'm running out of room here. We have some contacts that look like they've either gotten wet were completely burned the crap out of themselves. But, you can debate about that in the uh, comments. But, uh, there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Okay, well, you can, uh, MK, you can continue with your uh, outro now. this video if you liked it please like comment subscribe it really helps me out also if you haven't done this hit the bell button beside the subscribe button it notifies you anytime i post a video anyway thank you all for watching